What's up guys, welcome back to the vlog and welcome to Singapore. So I've lived most of my life here in Singapore, but I've never really appreciate, appreciated anything here in Singapore. And you know, always wanted to go back to my hometown, which is Myanmar. But recently I spent like a whole year of 2023 in Myanmar and I found some things that I really, really appreciate and I missed it a lot. So here are a few things that I miss most about Singapore. So I've changed my hairstyle for 2024 and it's not really working out for me. So the first thing I love about Singapore is the public transportation. So I've learned how to drive, I've drive my own car, I really hate the traffic, I hate driving in Myanmar and you guys know the conditions of taking public transport in Myanmar. So yeah, I really miss this place where the public transport is like very good, very accessible. You can pretty much reach the entire island with public transport, train or buses and yeah, grabs are pretty cheap to be honest. Yeah, even though, yeah, if I were to convert into Burmese chat, it's going to be expensive. But in Singapore dollars, I think they are really, really, you know, relatively cheap apart from the peak hour. So, yeah, first, my number one is the transportation, guys. Hi. So that's my point number two. So second one is pretty obvious. That is safety and yeah, you can just leave your things anywhere here. You know, your camera, shoot at any angle and then just come back and take it later on. You can't really do that in Myanmar, so yeah. Whew. Love that. So next is the food courts here in Singapore. Um, yeah, I, I, I hate to say it, but you know, sometimes when you are too busy, I think these are the best options. In Myanmar, if you want to eat a certain dish, you need to travel out so far. And yeah, that's just not quite convenient, especially the traffic is bad. There's no good public transportation. So yeah, food courts here in Singapore, I really missed it. I never really appreciate this when I was living here in Singapore, but yeah, after living a year in Singapore, I mean, in a year in Myanmar, I realized these are just amazing. The food here might not be amazing, but like the convenience and like able to choose like different cuisines out here is just incredible. And another thing I miss is Singaporean coffee. Somehow, I think I drink this too much in my entire life, so yeah, just missed it. And these are so good. Hmm. Let me grab something to eat out here and then yeah, I'll be back. Leave your bags, leave your coffee and you're still good to go. Never thought that I'll be eating chicken rice again, but and never thought that I'll be eating chicken rice today but the queue for all the other cuisine is just way too long and I have like a shopping list to do later on and a friend to meet. So yeah, I need to rush my dinner. So yeah, here we go, chicken rice. Never really need to queue every time at every food court. So yeah, that's why I'm eating chicken rice. Okay, okay, first bite. Should be good. Mm. Rice, good. The chicken 
good. The chili, not really. Overall, good. Okay, let's go, bro. Cheers, bro. Cheers, man. One bite. Hmm. Too many flavors to describe. Oh, it's no, sweet, it's sour. Sweet. Mm. sweet, sour, chewy, crunchy. What else? Really sweet mango. Oh my good finger. It's not on oh. Happy New Year. That's uh, strong, man. Uh, uh, more dryer. Yeah. Oh, it's nice. Very fragrant. Very strong. Thank you. <laughs> Yes. Alright. Thanks bro. Thanks bro. <laughs> So lastly, as you guys can see it from the B-Rolls, is actually bars and restaurants that I miss most about Singapore. You know, I make a reservation at 8.30pm and yeah, in Yangon, by the time it's like 8pm, you're probably at home, you know, showered up and everything. And I'm like, now it's like 12 and I'm back. I just got back, took shower and yeah, ending the vlog. So yeah, I really miss the bar and restaurant culture. Not really the nightlife culture. I don't really miss the clubs and all. Cause I think I'm over it. I'm over it. I'm over that. So yeah, I really missed it. Incredible drinks, incredible cocktails, amazing food as well. So yeah. Uh, by the way, thanks Gabriel for you know taking me out tonight. And yeah, it was a incredible bar, 
uh, they just open up like you know last year and like they're still new to the the FNB industry but yeah great service great food great drinks highly recommend you guys go in there uh, the bar name is An I can't pronounce it is Aniba Aniba bar and restaurant here in Singapore downtown Singapore I don't really need to say downtown because Singapore itself is like really really small so <laughs> yeah anyway um, I'm back here for like a couple of months here in Singapore so yeah there'll be a, a lot of vlogs coming up next about Singapore itself and the food and the places to go so stay tuned for that um, thank you guys so much for watching I appreciate every single one of you and I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye, guys.